Hi, my name is Michael Oakland. I'm a pharmacy student. I'm going to be doing a physical assessment for you today. Okay. I'm just going to be taking things such as temperature, pulse, height, and weight, and um, basically calculating BMI too, just to see if you're okay. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to show him wash my hands first. Let that take care of some nice and sanitary. <laughs> and um, so are you ready for the physical examination? Yep. Right. Okay with that? Okay, cool. Awesome. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and record your temperature with an oral thermometer. Okay. There we go. So I just need you to go ahead and place this under your tongue, just open your mouth. Okay. Okay, so we have a temperature for you of about 97.8 okay. Fahrenheit. So, oh, yeah. Degrees Fahrenheit, so temperature of 98.97.8 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So your temperature is 36 and a half degrees Celsius, okay. which is pretty good. That's fairly close to normal. Usually we like it to be in the range of uh, 97.5 to 99. Okay. So. All right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is take your pulse right next. Oh, and I did take your um, respirations per minute as well while I was doing the temperature. You have a respiration rate of 18 respirations per minute, okay. which falls in our good normal range of 12 to 20. Okay, so that's awesome. Pretty healthy. So what I'm going to go ahead and do next is take your pulse. Um, can I see your left arm, please? Yes. So I'm going to take it from the radial artery. You're okay, just blow your thumb. Okay. And I'm going to take it for 30 seconds. So I had a pulse of um, 68 beats per minute, okay. which is pretty good. It's in our range of 60 to um, really not for a rest time pulse where you want somewhere around 68. So 68 is pretty good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and calculate your BMI. Um, do you know your last recorded weight? Yep, 172 pounds. 172 pounds. Yeah. All right, can you step over to the measurement scale right here so we can go ahead and take your height? Um, I need you to take your shoes off. Looks like you already know what you're doing. <laughs> so, you know your hair does not count as high. Can scoot just a little bit too much? Okay. So you have a height of 5 feet 6 inches tall, which is 6, six inches. So, you are um, it's about 167 centimeters in height. 
So bed frames are BMI, so about 27 or 28-ish, 27 or 27, um, which is you're slightly overweight in that category of around 27, um, 25 to 30 for BMI. Um, it's not too bad. Um, how does, tell me something about your diet. I'm, just, I'm a student, so I can't really watch what I eat too much. I'm always on the go, so. You get enough exercise then? No. Okay, you're, still going, you're still going pretty well with your BMI this way. Okay. And I know it's hard as a stun student myself, so I know it's kind of hard to just okay. keep your weight down. So, all right, so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is measure your elbow breadth. And this is basically going to give me an idea of your frame size. Okay. Just to see, this is basically your small bone, big bone, medium sized bone. So, can I get you to stand up real quick and extend your right arm for me? I just need you to um, um, bend in your arm at a 90 degree angle. And I'm going to go ahead and locate the epicondyles of your elbow, which is basically just these bony protrusions right here and here. Measure it with the caliper. Alright. That's 63 millimeters, which is um, 6.3 centimeters, so that puts you in the medium frame of size category. All right, next what I'm going to go ahead and do what's called skin um, bowl, skin thickness test, skin bowl thickness test. And that's going to tell me how much percent of your body is fat. Okay. Uh, percent body fat. So I just need you to continue standing up. And um, what I'm going to go ahead and do is find the midpoint between your shoulder blade and your elbow. So that measures about 15 inches right there, so 7.5 is my midpoint. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my caliper. And I'm going to go ahead and do this test three times so that I can go ahead and average out and get the best results. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I got measurements of about 30, 29, and 28. So it averages out to about 29 millimeters or so. Um, so I'm looking at the chart I have here. Um, for a woman with a 29 millimeter skin fold thickness, you average at about 36% um, body fat. Okay. So, which, um, which I expect from the BMI. Okay. So it's not too bad. So let me see if there's anything else real quick. Uh, nope, that looks like it. So any questions before you leave today? Nope, no. Nope? Okay, well if you have any questions in the future, you know, you can contact the office. Don't hesitate to contact me as okay. well. And, um, okay, I'll see you at your next checkup next awesome. year. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.